Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the pharmacology of the dopamine. What is dopamine? Dopamine is an adrenergic agonist. This is a catecholamine and neurotransmitter and is the immediate precursor of norepinephrine. It naturally occurs in the basal ganglia of CNS. Basal ganglia are the caudate nucleus, lentiform nucleus, clostrum, and the amygdala body. So, it naturally occurs in the basal ganglia of CNS as a neurotransmitter and also in the adrenal medulla. Dopamine should be administered by continuous infusion. Dopamine is rapidly metabolized to homovanilic acid. Lack of dopamine from substantia nigra, there is a part of the midbrain. So if there is lack of dopamine, then what will happen? There will be Parkinson's disease, a movement disorder with rigidity tremor and poverty of movement. Maybe attention deficit hyperactivity disorder or lack of dopamine may be related to restless leg syndrome or certainly Parkinson's disease. Excessive dopamine may cause many aggressive behavior. People cannot control their impulse. Binge eating may lead to obesity, gambling, addiction to gambling gambling psychosis paranoia people has always sense of threat from others hallucination that means false sensory perception those may develop due to excessive dopamine dopamine can activate alpha and beta adrenergic receptor as well as dopaminergic receptor like D1 and D2. At higher doses, it causes vasoconstriction by activating alpha receptor. At lower doses, it stimulates beta 1 cardiac receptors. So it increases peripheral resistance by vasoconstriction. At lower doses, it stimulates cardiac receptors, so it has both inotropic and chronotropic action. It increases the force of contraction of the cardiac muscle, as well as it increases the rate of the heart. Heart beat is be, will be up, so increase heart rate and increase force of contraction of the heart. D1 and D2 receptor occur in the mesenteric and renal blood vessels, so the viscera, the splanchnic vessels, and the binding of the dopamine causes vasodilation in this bed, like renal vascular bed, mesenteric bed, even the coronary arteries. So it causes vasodilation. There is the blood vessel will be dilated. D2 receptors are also found in presynaptic adrenergic neuron. Activation of this neuron inhibits release of neurotransmitter. Like what? On the presynaptic area, dopamine inhibits norepinephrine release. Okay. So here, action on cardiovascular system, dopamine has a stimulatory reaction on beta-1 receptor and has inotropic, that is increased force of contraction of the cardiac muscle and chronotropic increased rate of heartbeat or tachycardia action on the heart. At high doses, alpha receptor is activated resulting in vasoconstriction and increased peripheral resistance, but it happens at high doses. Action on renal and visceral vascular bed, dopamine dilates renal splanchnic arterioles even the coronary vessels and increases blood flow to the kidney and other viscera. Therapeutic uses of dopamine. 
Dopamine is a drug of choice for cardiogenic or septic shock because it increases renal, coronary and splanchnic blood flow. So tissue, this tissue perfusion will be good by the action of the dopamine. Okay. So this is a drug of choice for cardiogenic and septic, septic shock. Increased blood flow to the kidney increases glomerular filtration rate or GFR and causes sodium diuresis. Dopamine prevents renal shutdown in a patient with shock. So patient in shock, dopamine is a drug of choice. Some of the catecholamine actually decreases the blood flow to the kidney, but dopamine actually increases blood flow to the kidney. Adverse effects of dopamine, sympathetic overactivity, that is tachycardia, sweating, okay. And also will have nausea, hypertension, and arrhythmia are the adverse effects of dopamine. And that's all about the pharmacology of the dopamine. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends. Please support my channel. Please subscribe me. Have a nice, wonderful and blessed day. Bye now.